Okay, thanks for tuning in to the special little clip here on the uh, YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you how to clean this red grouper now. Basically, I'll start right here in the middle of the grouper and come back up all the way up to the top of the head here. Make sure you got a good sharp knife. It leaves you good and open right here. And I come as close as I can to the uh, dorsal fins. Keep coming down where you start to feel the bones a little bit right on the backbone. And then you can just slowly start to peel that fillet back. Now, one thing that I like to do that makes it a little bit easier when you're filleting a fish is don't cut the whole fillet off at the same time. Turn it over and that leaves you the other side of the fillet on there, basically where you have, the, you have a good cutting point on it. Start off right up top in the center again. Go right underneath the skin where you're barely cutting it. Turn back around you can come up the bones. And I'll go ahead and take this fillet completely off. Basically just go right down the fillet. And you can hear it almost hit the backbone. And I do not like to waste fish. My granddad taught me how to clean fish one time and uh, basically never forgot it. All the way up to the tip of the head, start peeling her back. Then what I'll do, I'll flip it over this way. I know exactly where I need to cut right here on this grouper. I'm gonna get the bones and everything for it because sometimes I'm grouper bellies. Some people like them. And right there you have a perfect fillet of a red grouper. Turn it over, do the other side, and you're, uh, you're golden. You're, you can skin them. Basically when I skin them too, try to come level down on with the uh, cutting board here. And this is gonna look real pretty. I don't mess it up. Cut the bones out. And there is a big fat red grouper filet that we're gonna have tonight for dinner. Captain Pete's gonna cook up his special sauce and uh, had it last year. Yeah, look at that piece of meat. Gotta love grouper. Dry Tortugas having a ball with Captain Chris Trossett. Make sure you come down and get you some. See ya. There you go. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Well, pay attention, Blair. More nibbles. You got nibbles? I got nibbles. And that one about doubled over, didn't it? There he is. Uh-oh, fish on. He's giving the wee bass a shot. Not too big. What's that? He's not too big. Not too big. Well, welcome back, folks. We've changed spots now. We're fishing about 107 feet of water. Just dropped down and we're getting set up and everything. And what happens? Chris hooks up. <laughs> like that, a quick bite. A real quick bite. You're looking grouperish? Looks like a grouper. Oh, yeah. Nice red. Nice red grouper. Oh yeah. That'll work. That shall work for a nice couple grouper sandwiches right there. Good that circle right in the corner. Works well. Works well. What's that, Captain Pete? That one work? <laughs> <laughs> that one will work for sure. Well let's throw him in the box. Now this is a this is a red grouper, not a black grouper speckled. It's uh, pretty common out here. What? Yeah, real common fish here. Um, we get them in the Gulf side, Atlantic all the way out to about 200 feet of water. And the size limits on them? Uh, 20 inches in the Atlantic. 20 inches. Cool beans. Well, let's put him in the box and uh, get another one in there. Ice him down. He, he needs some company in there. Good job, brother. All right. Got some grouper. Currently, it's a good job, Smoke. Well, we've changed positions. The weather's starting to get a little rough and uh, came in, what, a little shallower this time? Yeah, just moved in inside the reef a little bit. Came inside the reef a bit. Gonna see what happens here. What do you got down? I got a pinfish on the bottom. Two pinfish on the bottom. We just started chumming, waiting for maybe some young tail to come up. So y'all stay tuned and stick around. We got chubs behind the boat. It's getting kind of chubby. Lots of chubby. I get it. Chubby when I catch a big grouper. 
<laughs> Let's leave the chubs out of it. <laughs> uh oh. What is it? Now, if it's another one of them beautiful groupers, you know, we can take one home then. Yeah. <laughs> I think Pete might leave us here if we let another one of those go. I think he would. <laughs> What'd you let him go for? I don't think I could have kept that fish. That was a too pretty of a fish. There's the weight. What do we got? Oh, another man. nice red. Still got your bait down there if you want it. Nope, it went away. Another a nice red grouper. We'll take them. Take them all day long. Yeah, man. Do these have any worms in them or anything? Occasionally you'll get something around the stomach, but they're, they're pretty clean. That's still a beautiful fish right there, but I've eaten these guys before. These are pretty tasty. Pretty darn tasty. We got a lot of folks to feed. We'll be staying in the Tortugas overnight tonight and uh, anchor up right there in the harbor and Cook it up. Cook it up, brother. <laughs> Can't that wait. That is one nice fish. Well, let's get him on ice and uh, get another, huh? Yes, sir. Well, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Chris Trossett and uh, some beautiful fish.